Well, today we're going to look at the Galoob 18 figure set. So in the 80s, Galoob, who went ever a sort of top tier toy company, produced a set of uh, figures for the TV show A-Team. And uh, they did various guises, and you could get various vehicles. Um, this one, I think, is from the base camp set, where you got the four A-Team figures, plus a load of equipment, and plus also the bad guys set. Um, so if we look at the A-Team figures, they say they were never the greatest quality. Um, the plastic is very brittle, hasn't aged particularly well, and they were quite generic. They certainly... You have a fan? Yeah, come see the A-Team. Um, yeah, it's very brittle, so they didn't didn't sort of play well. The thumbs would constantly snap. Cats, I'm going to go at my feet. Um, the likenesses weren't great, so this is... Uh, um, this is Hannibal, the leader, um, and it doesn't look much like George Papard. They got a, they got a cheesy look at his little smile. He can't help but enjoy it. Uh, they got a cheesy charm. I do like them. Um, they look like sort of knockoff GI Joe. Remember the core was it? That was the knockoff GI Joe one. So they're them those sort of bodies. Um, I don't know. He's wearing stripes. Give away. So that was uh, that's. Hannibal, and then Murdoch, who has the most untrustworthy appearance. Look at him, he's got no, it wasn't me. Um, nice figure, he's in an orange jumpsuit. Yeah, because he, he often wore bright orange <laughs> jumpsuits. You've got Mr. T as B.A. Barakas. Um, not a bad figure, this. Nice, he's in a sort of... You could imagine Mr. T wearing an outfit like this in the show. Uh, he don't get all his gold jewellery, which is a shame. Um, and then face. This face is missing an arm. <laughs> so he, he kept his face, but not his arm. Um, I have actually got another set, so I'm going to reuse them. What was weird is they did sets, other sets with the figures in. So you got a figure with each vehicle. You could buy a four-pack of the figures. And they're, they're different outfits. See, see... Hannibal, it's the same head, slightly different paint, but different outfit. They kept their sort of same colours. So, like Murdoch, he's in sort of a orange shirt. This one's in a double-breasted jacket. Um, if anyone, this one looks more snidey. Like, um, the other two figures are in the same, so I don't know whether they came in different. What I'm going to do is is cobble one decent face together because I've got a face with both arms, but his you see what happens to the plastic it starts to snap. So I'm going to be able to get catch me on. Going to be able to get one figure. I mean that doesn't look much like Dirk Benedict, does it? Get one set of figures, um, and then with the set you got some weird weird equipment which. It reminds me of like you go into Poundland and you see 170 second scale figures about that big, but then you get massive guns with them. So this one you got you got like a sandbags. <laughs> I mean unless they're reenacting Hadrian's Wall. I pity the fool that's behind this. It's it's totally out of scale. You get a flag, you get a gun in placement, uh, you get a raft, which is quite nice, so the figures can actually sit in the raft. You get no oars, so bad luck. Um, you get some rather nice sort of mortars. You get two mortars. Um, you get a bazooka. You get loads of uh, machine guns, which is nice. All the same, come on, let me focus. All the same design, but nicely detailed. And they can actually hold these guns, I'll show you in a minute. Um, missing from this set is the big uh, machine gun should be on a tripod, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. You get two parachutes, which are literally plastic bag material with string on, and then they tie to these harnesses which go around the figures. I'll show you in a second, I'll put one on. Uh, you get four backpacks for each of the A team, and there's two slightly different designs. So you get one with like I don't know what they're meant to be in there, but equipment, and the other one's got. 
RPG rounds. Uh, and they're, they're really nice, actually, they just clip over. You've got a tent. I've got the two ends, but the cardboard sort of tent centerpiece is missing, so I'm going to try and reprint that. Uh, you get two flamethrowers. If you want to reenact the thing, you can pretend one of them is McCready. And then you've got two TNT detonators. These ones are missing the T bar that comes up, so I'll have to try and make something on them. So you've got lots of lovely equipment. I mean, I remember this set when I was a kid. Um, I always wanted it. It used to appear on the toy shelves, and I always wanted it. But it was, I, th I seem to think it was quite a high price point. It was like compared to just buying single figures, so I never got it. But I would have loved these as a kid. But then they also brought out, because they thought, who are the A team going to fight? Mainly, I imagine, they fought Star Wars figures. <laughs> but they brought out the villain set, who are quite rare now. Um, and they're, they're just they're the most hilarious group of villains. I imagine they're totally inept. They look it. And what's what's weird is they did the same thing. So they're, they're generic villains. They did the same thing with Migo's chips line. So Migo did these amazing chips figure, figure set. So you've got people like Sarge. And then they brought out villains from it. And they were just like... I think they were C.B. Mahal figures. And these remind me so much, I mean, they, you look down on them, but so much of these generic chips figures. So you've got Eye Patch Guy, come on, focus, with a 70s pawn tash. He looks worried, doesn't he? And he's, he's skimped on leg day, as most of these people have. I mean, look at the size of his arm. Look at it. Um, so I don't know whether he's the ringleader or not. Lay him down. You get one-eyed, presumably Native American. Looks like he's wearing Native American style, or what TV thought was Native American. Galoob on his bum. For some reason, I only got one eye. He's only got one eye as well. They're particularly uh, bad. And then these, these two look like brothers, because they're wearing the same shirt and vest combo. So you got... Red with his windswept hair. My wife Anne looks at this. She goes, "Is he missing something on top of his head? Why is his head so flat?" I don't know, but that. I mean, actually, you could almost repaint him and call him McCready, couldn't you? Uh, they all wear the same trousers. They've all got turn-ups, which I'm pretty certain were outdated by the eighties. Again, quite muscly. Don't know what he's been attacked by a cougar on his back by the look of it. Um, and then. <laughs> This guy looks like he should be down the allotment. He's got one eye bigger than the other. His jacket, look at the rips on his jacket. He's not, he's used pink and shears to make that sleeveless jumper. Brilliant. So, utterly amazing villains. I love them. I don't know if they got names. If they got names, let me know if you know what these guys' names are. But I can imagine these going up against the A team. And that's sad because they did go up against terrible villains. Um, so yeah, so it was a really nice set. Let me uh, let me put some of the equipment on uh, some of these figures and we'll have a look. Okay, so you can see like the backpack's gone really well. Good system of clipping it on. They can hold them. They can hold their weapons. Get the backpacks on. Um, the parachute clips around like that, and then you you tie the strings onto this, and then you can throw them out your bedroom window. Um, and like I say, they go in the boat. So this is just a brilliant little set. I absolutely love it. It's not, they're not the best figures in the world. The likenesses are well off. They're made out of shonky plastic, but by goodness, they've got a lot of charm. And charm will get you a long way in the figure world, I think. Um, used to, these figures used to be uh, not given away. They weren't worth anything. You could pick up whole sets for next to nothing. Um, in the last few years though, they've just skyrocketed. So. If you want to pick some up now is the time to do it because they're only going to improve or increase their prices. Um, you can still pick up sort of mint box stuff for not hideous amounts. Um, but the, this was quite a good set. I got the, the four bad guys, the four good guys, plus all the equipment. I think it was 16 quid, which I think is a bargain. Um, you can get box ones for about sort of 40 quid upwards. Um, I would like to get the 18 van to go with them, but that's obviously 
as you would imagine, that commands the high prices. But yeah, well worth picking up. Great nostalgia set. Um, I might do a video on sort of making face. He looks. It just looks weird, doesn't it? It looks like he's had terrible plastic surgery. Uh, I'll do a video on combining him to make one good figure with the broken one. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Is there any old nostalgic figure sets uh, that you used to have? Let me know. Um, if I've got them, I'll do a video on them. And if you've got any of the 18 vehicles and that, let me know. Are they better quality than the figures? They always look sturdy. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.